Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So this is a request by one of my subscribers, Amy. Amy, this one's for you. It's a song called Ghost Love Score. I love this track. I have reacted to it a number of times now with guests and uh, it's something special. I think it's pretty ambitious here to try and do a track that Flora Janssen pretty much destroyed. She's so good. So I have high hopes for this dude. I hope that he can hang in there <laughs> I should give him more praise, but let's give him a listen first. Let's see how this goes. stop stuff but it's kind of like he's reacting he's just bobbing his head to the music <laughs> anyway let's listen to when he comes in here <laughs>
laughing at myself a bit because I'm looking at him and I'm thinking in my head, you know, would they do these long interludes in song? What's the poor singer supposed to do, you know? Just walk around and smile at the crowd, wave. <laughs> it's like not your time to do nothing. It's sort of like that joke with the opening of Stairway to Heaven where the drummer had nothing to do for a few minutes. So I'm thinking that and then I'm doing the same thing because I'm really just reacting to his voice and so I'm doing the same thing. I'm just sitting there waiting and looking at him. <laughs> so I feel like he's looking at me, I'm looking at him. <laughs>
The end seemed a little abrupt uh, ending. I, I, I wanted to hear him carry the notes a little longer. He could have. He's a really good singer. But how did you guys think he stacked up to both Floor and Taria? He, he's very talented. That was really good. I have my I have my choice of who I love. I, I think you guys already know. It's no need to even say it. But that was good. That was really, really good. So thank you for suggesting it. I appreciate it. You know, it, it took me till after to the interlude to look further at this guy and be like, I think I've seen his face before. And so I'm going to go with he's from the band Beast in Black. It did take me a moment to recognize him. In the beginning, his voice was very high, and I, it, it surprised me. But when I reacted to Beast in Black for the first time, it surprised me too. So it took me a few minutes to put it together. I'm not very familiar with that band, but now that I know who they all are, it's like this puzzle that kind of fit together. So um, it was fun. I, I, he's, he's really good. It's nice to just see totally featured on him. The only thing I didn't really like was the editing. I did get used to it in most of the track, but the jump cuts were a little rough. Just focus on this guy. He's kicking ass ass and he's giving it his all. So that was my only thing. And then at the end, why did we cut the track, man? It's already really long. Let's give it another minute and just let him wail away. He's good at it. So what do you guys think? Are you big fans of his band? Are you fans of him as a soloist? And most importantly, how do you think he did with Ghost Love Score? Let me know. Thank you all. I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rody. I'll see you guys on the next one.